Do you want to build a new PC or maybe you just want to know how to do it? Well, look no further as today we will be building one again. Now, you might be wondering why I have this extra space beside me, right? Well, in this video, I figured that it's going to be better if you see the process in action from someone with zero experience and of course, to hear the questions he has when it comes to building a PC. So, let me call on one of my good friends and one of the core members of the Empire community, Zenpai. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Zen, how are you feeling right now? Hi Mayor, hi guys. Um, to be honest, I'm really <laughs> nervous right now and I don't want to break anything, but I don't want to jinx it. And I think I'm going to break something. Right. <laughs> so I can see and I can feel that you're a little bit nervous, but you don't have to worry about anything because I will be here guiding you every step of the way. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, all right? All right, Mayor. I know <laughs> I'm in good hands and I trust you, so let's do it. What is up, good people? This is Jay. And this is Zen. And in this video, we will show you a step-by-step -step approach on how to build a PC. So without further ado, let's get cracking. All right, so since we have all the parts that we need to build a PC, let's get started. Now, this is just my process which I find efficient and easy. Now, if you think it can be improved, well, let us know in the comments. So then, first, let's take out the motherboard. Now, the reason why we go with our motherboard first is to make things easier. Next, we install the RAM modules. In our case, two XPG D50 3600 MHz DDR4 DRAM to our motherboard. Keep in mind that if you have four slots on your board and you'll only be installing two RAMs, you have to make sure to have them installed in the right order and orientation. I'm kind of nervous about this mirror and this is my first time ever to build a PC, right? So you really have to be patient with me, okay? As in patient, capital V. Capital what now? Capital V as in patient. P A T A E N T. <laughs> oh my god, Zen. I'm just joking, man. <laughs> Forget what I said. Let's All just right, do okay, this, okay? okay. <laughs> so, um, starting now, mm -hmm. how do I know if I'm doing the right order or orientation in putting this RAM? Well, the order can be found in your motherboard's manual, and for the orientation, you may use your RAM and your RAM slots notch as a reference. Zen, Zen, Zen. I know I said it's easy, but we still have to be careful, all right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you just align the thing and it'll slide right in. Now, the brain of our rig, our CPU. But then, just like our RAM, there is also a proper way of installing the CPU to your motherboard. Right, so Mayor, I'm assuming uh, the proper way of installing this is also in the manual, right? Because as for me right now, I'm just lucky that I have you here. But mm -hmm. for those who really want to build their own PC or planning to build mm -hmm. their own, they might not have any idea about this. So how are we going to do about this? Well, you know what? There is an even easier way because if you look closely at both the CPU and around the CPU slot of your motherboard, you'll see a small arrow. Now, just have those two arrows meet and you're good to go. Oh, that's a nice tip, Mayor, but I'm actually kind of scared to put pressure on this lever though. Well then, as long as you're sure about the orientation, you don't have to worry. Again, arrow to arrow, okay? Next, let's install your XPG Spectrix S40G 1TB NVMe SSD and this one is very simple. You just have to remove the NVMe screw, plug your SSD in, screw it down, and that's it. Alright, now that we're done with the first part, time for you to pull out your chassis. Let me put this away from you and for Zen's PC, he opted to go with the XPG Defender Pro. You know what? I've worked with this chassis previously and real talk Zen, this is one of of the easiest chassis to work on. I know, Mayor, and I've watched that video, and it's even cooler up close, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I just hope it will look as good. Well, I am sure it will look gorgeous, Zen, but first things first, you have to remove both of your side panels and lie the chassis flat on the desk to make things easier for us. Got it, Mayor. <laughs> on it. <laughs> now, let's install the part that we've assembled earlier. Oh, if in case your chassis doesn't have any standoffs installed, make sure to install them first. So now, we install the motherboard to the chassis, but you have to keep this in mind, alright? Then, you do not have to over-tighten the screws, okay? But, Mayor, how, how will I know when to stop tightening the screw? Well, it's actually very simple, alright? If it stops turning, then you're good. 
All right, next, let's move on to the CPU cooler. Zen here opted to go with an AIO liquid cooler, but the process of mounting it to your CPU is the same as an air cooler, minus the radiator installation, of course. So first, we need to decide where to mount the radiator, and this actually depends on you and the space on your chassis. You can mount it on top, in front, and in some cases with a small radiator at the back. Now, in our case, we'll go with front mounting as our case can only support a 360mm rad in front. Now then, here we'll consider our airflow. And we have to remember that cool air needs to go in and hot air has to go out to make our cooling more efficient. Oh, that I didn't know. But how are we going to do that, Mayor? Simple. We'll have our fans configured to either be intake or exhaust. For our radiator, we'll have it as our intake. So if you look closely at your fans, you'll see an arrow pointing somewhere. And and that is the direction of the air. So now our airflow config is front intake, top exhaust, and rear exhaust. Okay, so on to mounting the CPU block, but of course, first we need our mounting bracket. Now, you'll get multiple of these, so you have to make sure to use the appropriate one for your setup. Now, for Zen's PC, it's the LGA1200 bracket. After securing the mounting bracket, just align the CPU block's screw holes to the mounting screws and tighten the screws down. And as always, for an even mounting pressure, we'll tighten the screw in an alternate fashion. Imagine the X from XPG. See what I did there? <laughs> Keep in mind that before jumping in, do not over tighten the screws. Lightly tighten the top left of the X first, then the lower right. Now move on to the top right, then the lower left. Once you're done again doing the X method, secure the screws until it feels secure. You don't have to put a lot of pressure turning the screws, all right? Now, let's install your sweet, sweet GeForce RTX 3070 GPU. So, of course, we remove the PCIe slot covers from your chassis. Then, we install the GPU to the motherboard, screw it down, and done. All right, so the last to install is our PSU, and this isn't something to skip bump on, so make sure to get a reliable and efficient PSU from reputable brands. In our case, we chose the XPG Core Reactor 750-watt PSU. No, I think there isn't a wrong way of doing this one there, right? Wow, I like the confidence, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but unfortunately, that isn't the case. Notice that your PSU has a fan. Now, we have to consider that when installing a PSU, because we have to make sure that nothing is blocking the fan. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because if we block the fans, it might overheat. Is that right? <laughs> He's actually paying attention. Yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. Oh my god, Zen. Okay, moving on. The XPG Core Reactor PSU is a modular PSU, meaning we have the option to just attach the wires that we'll be using, unlike non-modular PSUs where everything is attached and can't be removed. Trust me, this will be a great convenience for our last step. So now that everything is installed, time to plug everything to the motherboard. Now for the wiring, for the the chassis wire, you may refer to your motherboard's manual to see the correct wiring. Next, we'll connect the motherboard and the GPU to the PSU. And of course, for the extra swag, our XPG family provided us with the XPG Prime ARGB extension cable that we'll use for Zen's rig. Remember what I said earlier about how having a modular PSU can be helpful for our final step? Well, let's get on with it. Our final step is cable management. See, you have a gorgeous setup, and of course, we don't want those hideous cables dangling around. And a lot of people hate this process, but depending on your chassis or CPU case, it could be easy. So can't we just hide this cable snare so it will look tidy and clean? <laughs> hmm. Well, you know what, Zen? Yes, we could, but no. We don't just hide the cables, we tidy it up. I mean, look at your case. It has these wire holders, right? So we just route these wires to these holes and secure them with a cable tie, and that's it. All right, I think I can do that. Yeah, that's easy, right? <laughs> yeah, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll assume that we're done with the cable management in this part of the video. So here's a before and after shot for your viewing pleasure.
So Zen, how was your experience building your own PC for the first time? Well, honestly, Mayor, I thought that it's going to be hard. <laughs> and uh, like I said earlier, I thought I'm going to break something, but it's actually not bad because uh, right now that I can see it and uh, I think I'm going to be more confident now in building my own rig in the future, you know. Wow. And thank you so much, Mayor, actually, for helping me with this one. Of course, of course. Anytime, anytime. Well, Zen, of course, we would like to thank you as well for showing our viewers your process of building your own PC. Now, all that is left for Zen here to do is enjoy. Yes. <laughs> Nowadays, DIY is normal, and yes, I strongly believe that tech is included. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to a professional when in doubt, but with a little bit of research and with the right tools, you can do it yourself. And as with everything in life, believe in yourself, manifest your good thoughts, and surround yourself with the right people just like our ADATA and XPG family. That is why if you want to get updates with their latest products and offers, be sure to check out their socials. Well, that is it for us in this video and I hope you find this one helpful on your building journey. And as always, for questions, suggestions, comments, or even a shout out on the next video, never hesitate to use the comment section or hit me up on my socials anytime. Again, my name is Jay telling you to keep that smile, stay positive, and don't forget to rock on and rock hard.